Wow, bright today. Give me a sec. Bright and hot in Florida. Welcome back to the channel, folks. If you're new here, welcome. Glad to have you. You know, there's a lot of just great videos out there on how to physically, technically ride a motorcycle. Um, just some of the, the best riders I've ever seen. But has anyone ever told you how to ride one mentally? I'm about to share some things with you I think are important. Uh, and if you stick around to the end of this video, you'll watch me piss off half the motorcycle community. You know, I thought, uh, I thought it'd be best to uh, do this subject actually riding a motorcycle. Besides, it's a nice day. I'll crack my shield a minute. Wish somebody would invent a uh, full face helmet that would breathe. That uh, in the summer you wouldn't suffocate in. So, just leaving the house. Before I ever get on this motorcycle, check my mental state. And I would never get on this motorcycle if I was mad at my wife, or there was a tragedy in the family, or there's some conflict going on. It would be way too distracting. Instead of paying attention, I'd be thinking about all that other stuff. Oh, here comes the trike. And the same thing goes with uh, something really good. If something like extraordinarily good happens, what are you going to be thinking about? You know? I don't know, all the money you're going to spend? Distraction's a distraction, whether it's uh, going to be something good or fix him, or tragedy or conflict. So in those situations, I am never getting on the bike until uh, I settle down a bit on those things. Oh, it is windy today. And I've got... Uh, Three other things I do. Let's start with the first one. It's called What If? And uh, I learned this from riding in the mountains and foothills of Colorado, especially at dusk. You know, you're coming around corners, and that's the perfect time for wildlife. Deer love to come out at dusk hang out in the middle of the road and uh, it's a wake-up call and if you're not playing what if you know, what if there's something around that corner uh, what if it's a herd of deer what if it's a broke down car around that corner which has happened are you going to be able to avoid it you're going to be able to slow down and, uh, or even stop the things I think about. I also think about what if, if I'm uh, taken off from a light or a stop sign, or I think I can make it. Oh, there's a car coming, and maybe I can make that. What are the bike stalls? Are you going to get slammed? So mentally, Always looking ahead and thinking, what if? And all the technical stuff you can learn. And we all do. 
What if this guy right now decides to come out? You prepare? Maybe. What if somebody comes out of these side streets? You gonna be prepared? Hopefully. I always expect the unexpected and the what ifs. In Sturgis, when you're at the Custer State Park in the wildlife loop, what have I heard of buffaloes in front of you because you came around the corner and there they are. Anticipation will save your life. Yeah, let's see what we got the stop sign here. God, it's a beautiful day. Wish I could open up my shield. Just one of those days that uh, has great clouds. So what's number three? Number three is what keeps you most alert. It's who in the hell is trying to kill me? So I play this little game with myself, especially in a little bit more traffic. And you're seeing lots of cars. I always play the game as one of these guys is trying to kill me. I have to figure out which one it is. Is it you? Is it you trying to make a left-hand turn? Or is it the guy coming up behind me? It helps me look in all directions and uh, heightens my uh, sense of awareness. I mean, a lot. And it's a great game to play. It helps you read the traffic. You kind of second guessing, but you kind of put yourself out there and saying, "Okay, what is this guy going to do?" You're going to anticipate. And when I'm coming up to a light and it all of a sudden turns green, I don't blast through it because I'm always thinking that somebody else is going to try to make that red, and he's out there just trying to kill me. And if you ever ridden in Florida, you will know that uh, driving down here will kill you. But if you're on a motorcycle, they'll really try to kill you. And what is going to piss off everyone, which my wife says I tend to do, it's my nature. Music. When to have it, when not to have it. Personally, I never listen to music when I'm riding. Now, I guess there's a place for it, but it is not in uh, light, moderate traffic, certainly not in heavy traffic. You need all your wits about yourself. And if you're listening to music, you are not concentrating on what's going on. Now, if you're uh, out riding uh, flat out in the desert, you got the cross streets, yeah, blast that music if you want. That's what uh, helps you knock down the miles, but I, I am not going to do it. Uh, the only music I want to hear is my pipes. You know, you, your ears are part of your awareness system. And even if you're wearing a helmet, um, and I wear earplugs as well, I can still tell what's going on around me. But if I'm blasting a stereo system, or if I've got it blasting in my helmet, you're trying to, you're trying to hear stuff over that, your awareness is gone. It kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, guys walking down the street wearing headphones and jamming. 
They have no idea what's going on around them. They have no self-awareness. And trust me, you do not want that on a motorcycle. Riding mentally is the beginning and the end of safety. Of course, you need to know how to technically ride and have some experience. But riding mentally, e even for us guys who've been riding for years, and sometimes especially us guys, we get complacent. You know, we uh, we kind of get lazy and uh, tend to think, yeah, you've done this before. Or I've ridden this road a hundred times. But, and that's... Uh, that's when it becomes dangerous. That's why I try to practice these little things. And, uh, especially the who's trying to kill me. It works real good, keeps me aware, and it keeps me thinking about what is going on. I don't like traffic either. So, I hope I made my point. I had to uh, come back and take care of a little business. But I think I said all I want to say. Always be aware. Keep your wits about you. You young riders uh, probably don't have as much uh, problem with complacency, you're still on edge, but you will. Get over to comfort. Not comfortable. So I hope this helps. Hope you think about this. Make up your own games. Send me a note in the description. What do you do to uh, keep yourself from getting ooh, overly complacent? Keep yourself aware. I'm sure everyone out there has, has games they play. It's the only way to keep our minds going. And don't be too mad about the music thing. You know, it's just, uh, just my opinion. I can't personally be that distracted. Distracted is a downfall of many. So, hope to see you all later. Oh, gates are open. Love that. <laughs>